Hello my friends, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4 megapixel Wi-Fi bullet camera from Amcrest Smart Home. I received this one precisely today after all the crazy weather that we had. Uh, this guy is a 4 megapixel Wi-Fi bullet camera for outdoor security. It's the ASA ASH42B uh, comes here with a copyright 2019 original comes all sealed with an original seal as well on the top and it gives you on this side of the box a few details about it like for example the sensor 1 3rd inch 4 megapixel CMOS resolution up to 4 megapixels uh, night vision up to 98 feet lens type uh, the field of view etc so that the box itself comes with a lot of details it tells you that it's waterproof flexible storage it actually takes up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card which is not included so you're gonna have to uh, get your own micro SD card which by the way they are fairly cheap right now and if you if you actually got a wish you might be able to find it if you were patient enough to wait for it for you know two or three weeks that it takes to come uh, it has a built-in mic has wide angle motion detection hevc compression etc so it looks pretty good um, it works with the amcrest smart home app on your phone sorry i'm not putting it on the picture there um, i already downloaded it I've, I've been waiting for this thing for a week so well let's Let's unbox it and let's see how it works. So first of all, we have a little seal here that we need to cut. So I'm gonna grab my my knife and I'm gonna poke that seal open. So here we go. All right, let's open it up. So as you see, it comes pretty well packaged. It is nice. It is over an inch thick, I would say probably inch and a half, inch and a quarter maybe. The first things that you will find here is gonna be a let's get started, which has the information on the app, how to download the app. You're gonna have your, your warranty in English, Spanish, and in French. You're gonna have your little invite to join the MCrest community here as well. Some important notices of CC regulation. And you're gonna have your quick setup guide for your camera. This comes also with uh, your template that you have here. Just before you install the camera, just paste this template, whatever you're gonna drill the holes and you pre-drill etc so we're gonna probably go through that a little bit later it comes with some hardware the three screws and the anchors in case you need to do it, to, to put it on a wall it's a pretty long power cord you have also here a, a few tools we're gonna see what these are for uh, oh it's the rj45 waterproofing and what we're approved proof casing it comes with a pretty long well doesn't seem to be that long um rj45 i probably won't use it with this one i'm gonna use it with wi-fi first and if i see that i need to put it on that rj45 then i'll do um and here is the camera itself so it comes with a little quartz here wrapped around it so you unwrap it and here's plastic so let's take this plastic out and let's see what it looks like And here it is. So it comes with a protective film, protective sorry film. So here's the little antenna. And here in the casing, under these two screws, we will also find the SD card port. So we can, uh, I can open it and show you. This is this pretty couple of screws right here. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what it looks like. And so here you have it. So after I remove that little lid. We have here the slot for the SD card. We have the reset button here as well. So there you go. And here it is. It is completely movable. So you have to 
to loosen a little bit these screws so you can actually adjust it to the tilt and the pan and everything. So here we go. And now you can you can move it in any direction you want. So these, these screws are going to help you keep it in place. So if you have a strange corner or angle you want to install it on, this is going to help you pivot it around so you can actually install it in a place that is most convenient for you. And everything that is inside that little compartment is waterproofed. So you will see the little gasket here and uh, here in the bottom as well. So it's going to be all waterproofed. So it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty well built. Um, it's been really cold and I'm still waiting on my SD card. Amazon has not delivered yet. Um, I've been waiting for a week as well. So I will install this uh, once I get the SD card and I will continue the video once it is installed so you can see uh, how it works and I'll show you the app and everything. All right, so after all this time, I finally got my, my SD card. So here is a 128 gigabyte is a class 10 uh, U1 UHS. Uh, so I'm going to use this micro SDXC and I'm going to put it into the camera so you guys can you know, just you know, break it here out and I'm going to put it into the camera. So again, the camera has a couple of little screws right, right here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. All right. So this this go pretty deep, so you're gonna have to really work on this. And there we go. So once we look at this little. Uh, this little port here it has the connectors on the bottom so your your SD card is going to go like so it goes with the QR sorry with the QR code facing down you're gonna stick the SD card right here facing up you push it until it plugs and there you go so there's going to have your SD card right there and I'm going to go ahead and put the, the, the cover back on and I'll show you how to program it. So I'll be right back. All right, so I put the SD card back on. There it is. And uh, I plugged it to the power. So you're going to see that there is a little red light off here. I, I just removed the protective film that it was that, that was on top of it. So. Um, I re uh, it's going to show a solid red for a few minutes and then it's going to start the process. So let's, let's see what happens in the app. So I'm going to leave the camera down here. It's going to start the process. It's going to start blinking a little bit. Um, so in the app, you have to download the app that is called Mcrest Smart Home. It's going to be something like this. And once you enter the app, I, I already did this, so it makes no sense to, to repeat it in front of the camera. But it's going to ask you to create uh, an account with Amcrest or to sign in with your account. So once you sign in, you're going to have the option of uh, adding a new device and it's going to show this screen, which is for the, for the QR code. Now the QR code is under the camera, so I'm going to scan it. If I can make it happen, uh, my phone is not. My phone doesn't want to focus here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. So let's see. There it is. So it beeps, and it's gonna show you the actual model of the camera, and it's gonna give you the option of enter uh, Ethernet only or Wi-Fi setup. So I'm gonna just click on Wi-Fi setup. 
and it's going to ask you to make sure that the camera is plugged in and it's blinking green and right now it's blinking green so I'm going to just click on next I'm going to tap here and it's going to ask me uh, to go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect so here on your phone you're going to go down going to go to your Wi-Fi settings and you're going to find the network on your phone so I, I don't know if it's going to let me see if I can pull it because it's not showing up. There it is. So I don't know how it's going to show on your phone, but right here is going to give you an ASH uh, network name, Wi-Fi name. So you click on that, it's going to connect to your camera. It's going to connect, it's going to tell you that the camera is... Well, that you don't have internet or whatever, but that means that you're ready to go. So once you are connected to that, you go back to your app. And yeah, well, my phone just messes there. So I'm going to enter my password and it will be back in just a second. All right. So once you have entered your device password and your recovery email and the Wi-Fi you wanted to connect to, it is going to show you this screen. So this screen is going to ask you to wait until the LED indicator light turns solid green, then tap next. So mine has already turned solid green. There you go. So I'm going to tap on next and it's going to start getting ready. So you, you can name your camera, front door, storage room, whatever. Uh, you can rename the device. So I'm going to just say, okay, this is this is front door, just to give any name. And then we're going to go to save. And voila, your connection is successful. You can go straight to the device. So we can go to start live view. And immediately tells you that there's a firmware update. So I, I would go for it myself. Uh, and just click on update and... Once, once you click on update, it's going to give you these options. I would suggest you to go to Cloud Upgrade. And it's going to take a few minutes. And it's going to upgrade. It's going to do all the process by itself. So just, just give it a second there. Um, I'm going to go back to, to Wi-Fi because I don't want it to just use all my data plan here when I'm at home. So um, I'm going to just let it do this. And that's basically it, man. Um, I, I will I will post a review as soon as it is done update, updating and all that stuff and I'll show you how this beauty works. But in the meantime, it's not gonna take too long. And this is a download process and after this is the installation, so just be patient. All right, so I changed the name and um, I put it, you know, temporarily out here in the window. It's not gonna be there. I'm gonna just change it to the other side. Um, so this this is the picture. I might change the name again. I don't know. I, I, I still don't know where I'm going to put it, but maybe the, the higher traffic place. Um, so this is the app. This is what you get. This is your live view option. Uh, you can take a snapshot. You can record video. And now that it has the SD card, it might actually have pretty, pretty good storage uh, capacity. Uh, you can go to the options and you have you know, device information, which allows you to change the name and blah, blah, blah. It has the storage status, it will tell us that it has 116.37 gigabytes available there on the SD card. Um, I don't have cloud storage paid, so um, I don't care much for it. I don't want my, my, my videos to be on somebody else's servers. Um, it will allow you to at the time zone if you are a specific time time zone so i'm in central time here um other things here is lets you change the wi-fi check the firmware status uh, continuous recording night vision motion detection right now i have it enough because i haven't installed it in the proper place so i don't want it to be telling me every time a bird flies by the window so and that is it. I mean, it has a pretty nice, clear picture. I'm going to install it. And after installing it, I'll, I'll show you the video uh, with some night shots and stuff like that so you can see it. But uh, so far, it is a breeze to install. It is super easy. Uh, it is a 
it is a great device, quite honestly. Uh, I may get more of this. Uh, in the future, I have other places here at the, at the house where I, I would like to have Amcrest uh, cameras or just video cameras in general. So um, I may get more of this. Uh, I like the picture. Look at that. It's just really vivid and it has a very wide angle. I can see almost all the street in front of me um, with just one, one easy shot there. Uh, so I have to figure out where to put it so I, uh, I can have a, a clear picture of the house front and all that stuff. So. Uh, there it is. There it is. Um, I'll, I'll send some other pictures there, probably snapshots and short videos of the night vision. See how it works. Now, if I put it close to lights, which, which might be the case, um, or might have a little different perspective there. But um, yeah, uh, I'll include more a little bit, a little bit later. They're gonna be probably part of this general video, but you know. Uh, I'll include them. And that's it. So thank you for, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And uh, um, and yeah, uh, this is a cool function. Function, function, function. It is inside that room. Uh, but if it was outside on the street, you can actually hear what's happening out there. Um, I don't think you can talk to communicate. It is actually grayed out. So you, don't, you cannot talk to the camera. Um, but you can hear what's happening. So if somebody is at your door or whatever, or is at your driveway or whatever, you can just hear what's happening out there. So there you go. Uh, I'll, I'll post the night vision videos. And with that, I will close my general, uh, my general unboxing and review of the Amcrest Bullet camera for Wi-Fi only. Um, or, well, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And it's powered by a 12 volt um, a 12 volt converter this is not power over ethernet this is actually a powered by a little 12 volt converter so yeah i'll, I'll include more information later uh, in the meantime this is all I'll, I'll just get some night shots tonight and i'll send them over to you guys so you can you can take a look at it as well thank you so here is an example of the night vision of the camera as you can see Everything looks very crisp, very detailed. I have another camera set up here in my garage and it doesn't look as great. This this night vision is amazing. The reason why I brought it to my garage is because this is the darkest part of the house. Uh, I, tried it, I, I tried taking a, a night vision shot outside, but the neighbors have lights all over the place and it doesn't look as, as great but this one is an excellent excellent spot uh, for a night vision test so as you can see the image i mean it's just amazing it is great everything looks amazing uh, very detailed very crisp very sharp image uh, now on, on the other hand when, when it is installed outside right now i put it you know outside my driveway looking into the um the passage to the back of my house and I put it that way I know it is capturing a lot of my house there but it is it has very wide angle as you can see so right now I have it in that location because I want to see if anybody tries to get through that specific uh, passage to the to the back of my house so <clears throat> one thing I like about this camera is that it has the option to create zones so if, if i want to look at for example that passage my driveway my entryway but not the sidewalk i can just set up a motion detection um, zone so it actually can look within that zone and not outside and i can i can keep control of that piece it will send push notifications to my phone i was trying it i was testing it it was it was looking amazing now there is one thing i do not like about this camera and that is the fact that if you lose power and your camera shuts down if you have an SD card inside whenever the camera comes back up it is going to tell you that the storage uh, SD card is corrupted and will want to format it so just make sure you keep a, a nice backup of your SD card you don't want to lose if you have any recordings and the SD card is going to record an alarm event an alarm event is going to occur whenever you have set up, uh, for example, those zones for for um, 
motion detection. So just be sure you back up your, your SD card constantly or, or frequently. If you don't have power loss, like like some places do, that's okay. You don't have to worry much about it. Uh, but I would suggest you to, if you have any backup generator, just leave the cameras plugged to the backup generator too. Um, I will be actually installing this camera on a solar panel with a battery backup setup. Uh, I, I have been working on it for some time and finally decided to, to put it up. I was testing the camera on solar power, the, 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 the solar uh, panels were bringing down right about 13, 14 volts into the battery. The battery was sending 12 volts out, which is the requirement for the camera. So everything was looking perfect. Everything is working amazing. So if you want to plug it to a solar setup, excellent. That's another good way to do it. So um, I love these cameras. I, I have one that came with my security system. It's not as great. Uh, quite honestly, I love the camera. I will probably get more. So um, in the future, I will be increasing the setup. One great thing that has that the app has is a multi-view. So if you have more than one camera and up to four cameras, you can see them all side by side uh, on, on, a, on a little nice grid. So you can actually look at whatever is happening at the four cameras at the same time. So it is great. It is it is an awesome piece. At some point, I will try the, the power over Ethernet. Um, I will be setting up something there in my attic and probably getting a couple of turrets to, to mix with the bullet bullet camera, maybe another bullet camera just to have two by two, uh, two and two and, and, and you know, uh, look at them side by side. But yeah, it is awesome. So thank you, Amcrest, for, for designing such a great product. The app is amazing. I read so many bad reviews about the app, but actually the app is great, it's very stable. It has many, many functions. Um, so I'm just happy with this purchase, it was great. And well, here is out there for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know through the, uh, through the comments here on YouTube. I'm gonna be putting this on YouTube and Facebook. And well, feel free to ask any questions. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day.